Everybody loves to attack, but no one wants to be blocked. And therefore, if you or your teammates are great in covering the ball, covering the attack, this is great because you get another chance to attack and to score the point. And therefore, I will show you an exercise how you can improve your skills in covering the ball. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, welcome on my channel. My name is Morten. Hope you have a great day. Today we're going to talk about covering the ball. I'm going to show you an exercise where we will improve our skills covering the ball. I'm going to give you some tips so you can be better as an individual and as a team by covering the ball. This gives us great options while attacking because now we don't just need to hit over the block, beside the block. We can even hit into the block, very controlled, cover the ball and get another chance to score. So this is a great option and a very ba basic element in volleyball and therefore we need to practice it in our training. And today I'm gonna show you this exercise, what you can do, it's just an idea and you will find your own way how to cope with it. Let's go. So in this exercise today we won't work with a block but we still need balls to come from the position of the blocks and therefore we're gonna put some balls on the block position two, three and four. And then of course we need six players on the court who are practicing the covering and the rest of the guys will play the balls exactly from this position where we hit the ball over the net. So what we do here, we are playing seven balls. I always say one plus six because the first ball is a free ball and then there are six more balls like bouncing back from a block, which is not visible here. But uh, then we have like seven balls in a row, seven attacks. I do this because it takes about 30 seconds, which is quite a good time to simulate a long rally. It's not too long so that the guys are not getting really tired, but it's not so short so that the guys need to change afterwards to do everything on full and maximum power. Another reason why we play this one plus six balls is that we have three attackers so usually everybody should at least attack once, maybe even twice. And of course since there are six guys on the court I hopefully have every guy at least be once in a covering situation. Tactically we want to take a closer look on the attack on position four. It's the same or about the same on position two and therefore we are just gonna here have some sketches on position four and maybe later on position three. Usually when we talk about covering a ball, there should be like circles around the attacker, sometimes two very close to your attacker and three a little bit farther away or the other way around, three guys very close to the ball, to the net and two guys a little bit further away for the long balls. Let's take a look how the players in training are already doing. Here we have attack over position four, two guys in front and three a little bit further away from the net waiting for the covering situation. And here again we have three guys in front and two guys in the distance. For the attack over the middle it's about the same. We can have two guys very close to the attacker and three in the back or we have three guys in front and two in the back. And here's very important that you don't fix it on the player type on the court so that you don't say the libero always have to stay here and the outside hitter is supposed to position himself here for the covering action. It's more depending on the situation. For example, as you can see here, the setter from the back is coming closer to the net to play a middle ball and of course he will cover this situation, this attack from position three very close to the middle attacker. He is the first to know where his set is gonna go and therefore he is in best position to cover the ball. The libero as well has no option in attacking the ball and therefore he is ready to cover all the time, can get really close to the attacker as well. The outside hitter on position six maybe is preparing for a pipe attack and therefore he is more in the back of the court but still moving towards the middle attacker. And yes, sometimes it's very chaotic and everything is going very quick and therefore 
Not every attacker can be perfectly positioned when covering the ball. Therefore, I want to share three ideas with you how to get better in covering. First of all, as I already mentioned, it's not that important that everybody has his or her fixed position where he or she is covering. It's more about the situation and therefore my first idea for covering is if you're close to the attacker, go close and if you're in the back, go into the gap of the guys in front of you. My second idea for cover, the closer you are to the attacker, the deeper you have to go in positioning. And if you are further away from the attacker, you can stand more upright because it's more likely that you have to move quick to run after a ball. My third idea, focus on the block hands. You don't have to watch your attacker or you don't have to glance at the ball. Just take a closer look at the hands of the block players because this is where the ball comes back from, where it bounces off and therefore it gives you some ideas of where the ball can go. So how do we put this exercise into our training? This is an exercise for the main part of the training. Everybody should be warmed up very good because we will jump, we will do some attacks, we will move plyometric with maximum speed and therefore we need to be warmed up very good. Depending on the number of players in your training, we can do it a little bit more easy or we can do it much more intense and therefore it depends what you want to do in your training. To keep it easy with low intensity, just go for three to four balls, like 15 to 20 seconds. And if you want to have it a little bit more intense, you can keep the rallies up to 45 seconds with six to nine balls in a row. Okay guys, hope you liked this video. If so, please smash the like button, leave a comment down in the comment section below how you like this exercise or if you find value in this exercise, how you have done it in your training or if you know another exercise, how you can improve this exercise, even pimp it a little bit, make it better so it has more value to all volleyball around the world. If you don't want to miss any more videos, please subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell so you get notified when a new video is online, usually Mondays, sometimes on Fridays. We will see us there. Have a great day. Bye bye.